Hello, this is Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com and in this video, I'm gonna be answering the question, is electrical engineering a good career to have in your, your lifetime? Is electrical engineering the, the right career path for you? Now, I'm coming to you today no longer an electrical engineer. Only two years ago, two short years ago, I was actually an electrical engineer. It was my life's mission, it was my life's career, my life's ambition to become an electrical engineer. And within a year of being an electrical engineer, I quit. I quit my job and now I find myself in a position where I have my own business doing something completely different away from electrical engineering. So in this video, what I wanna do, I wanted to get the camera out I've just checked into a hotel, we're off to go watch Bruno Mars tonight, and because we've got this sort of new um, college years come in, it just in a few months, there's a lot of people starting to discuss what they're gonna do the next part of their life, going into new careers, starting new courses, new apprenticeships, new, um, you know, deciding, this is the time of the year where you decide what is my next career path. Now, I'm coming to you from a little bit of experience. In 2006, I quit college to go down the apprenticeship route. I did a, a four-year apprenticeship, and after that apprenticeship, I was an electrician, which then I went on to do HNC, HND, and then I actually got my first class degree in electrical engineering. So, I come to you with a bit of experience. I went to university, got a first class degree in electrical engineering. I was actually an electrical engineer, which was my complete life's ambition. At the time, it was my, my, my life's ambition, my career ambition to be an electrical engineer, and I quit. And what I wanna do is, I wanna tell you my reasons for it. It might be a little bit against the grain. It might be a little bit against what maybe other people are saying out there. Because the reality is, when we're growing up, when we're going through the education system, we are taught to pick a career, pick a, uh, pick a trade. That's what I was always taught. Pick a trade, tradesmen, they're always gonna get paid very well. You know, pick some, some, something in, in engineering, become an electrical engineer, become a, a mechanical engineer, become a structural engineer, become some sort of engineer. What, whatever it is, just pick a trade, right? There's so many people that are plumbers, there's so many people that are joiners and all these things. And that's what I did. I just went with the flow. I went with education. And I was funneled down this path of pick a career that you're gonna basically get into for the rest of your life. For the next 30, 40 years, you're gonna be in engineering. And I did this for eight years, from the age of 18, to about uh, 26, turning 27, I, I was along this path and then I quit. Um, and the reason for this, now, is electrical engineering a good career? In many ways, yes, it is a good career. I mean, if you think of there's so many careers out there, it's a more well-paid job. I mean, I was getting, I was on about 38,000 pounds per year at the time. But I'm gonna be truth, truthful in this. For me, it ultimately wasn't the expectation that I had. It wasn't the expectation what I thought it was gonna be. You gotta remember that whatever you decide to do, you're gonna do it for 40 years. You're gonna do it for half of your life. You're gonna do it more than 40 years, nearly 50 years. So you gotta enjoy what you're doing. And in many ways, I did enjoy what I did. I was, an, I was an engineer for best part of one year. But to tell you the truth, it wasn't what I expected. It really, really wasn't. I went to university, which I did two years of grueling maths, grueling hours in lectures, which simply had no use to me in real life. I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand what the universities are doing, they want to funnel you down, they ultimately want your money. You know, they want the people to go through the university and people get in so much debt and things and you gotta get that piece of paper, you gotta get that certificate to say you are now an engineer. But in reality, what I found was what I was doing at work was electrical engineering but it wasn't really based on the crazy amount of theory you go into at university. It really, really wasn't. And to tell you the truth, 
there's a lot of it that I never used in real life. There really, there was nothing I really used in, in real life. If you think of the crazy maths and the crazy theory you go into at university, I didn't do any differentiation or integration or I wasn't at a whiteboard spending hours doing calculations. It just wasn't like that. Now, I enjoyed my time as an engineer, but it missed and it lacked certain things. First of all, I was trading my time for money. One of the, one of the most precious things you've got is your time. So how you spend your time is you've got to think really, really long and hard about how you decide to trade your time. Now, I believe since taking the jump, now building my own business, and now I've, I've taken advantage of the internet, I've taken advantage of companies like Amazon, which I can send products to Amazon. They will ship my products to customers. I learn, thankfully, at the age of 27, that profit is better than wages. And I started to earn more money in profit than I did wages. And then I started to realize that I was being called out at night, away from my family, to go to my job. When they called, I had to go. When eight o'clock started in the morning, I had to be at work. When four o'clock finished at night, I then came home. I was, I was like a slave, and there's so many people slaves to their jobs. And then a lot of the times, people don't like their jobs. So I was going to the steelworks, and every day, I loved the people. I loved the people. But the reality is, the it wasn't everything that it cracked out to be because this whole world of the internet now, building this business online, using Amazon, using, there's so many different models out there, showed me the potential to be able to travel, to be able to stop trading my time for money, to be at home with my family while we're still earning money. That's allowed me to now travel. I'm in Leeds in the UK right now. I'm waiting for Bruno Mars to come on later, and usually I'd be at work. But Amazon, they're taking care of all our business, they're taking care of all our customers, they're shipping all our products, and I'm still earning money. When I go to bed at night, I'm still earning money. When I wake up, I'm still earning money. So, is electrical engineering a good career? My truth, my truth is no. It really isn't worth it. Now, is it a good career in the in the sort of society, the way you think, like, could you, what I mean by that is, are you going to be somebody that works behind a checkout counter or an engineer? Of course, it gives more significance. You know, you're going to get paid in terms of the value you bring to the, the marketplace, which is your work, your job, your career. But there is so many more... Um, fulfilling so many more clever ways of building a, a, a life for yourself. You know, that's just my opinion. I learned very early, I was completely blown away with the fact that I could earn more money with profit than I could engineering. And I'd spent so many years training to be an engineer. You know, that that is the truth. That is the truth. And if it's 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 difficult to say because people this education nowadays they don't teach you how to leverage the internet they don't teach you how you can build businesses online using blogging using amazon using affiliate marketing using all these things what we call the internet which allows you to be free which allows you to be location independent so Although this is against the green, I think it's, it's, I reckon you should really consider using the internet as a form of your career, building a business on the internet that doesn't basically need your time traded for money. That's just my opinion. That is just my opinion. And that's why I quit my job within six months of being an electrical engineer I started a business, I found, right, I'm quitting my job, I'm learning because now I've, I'm no longer trading my time for money, I'm now with my family, I'm able to travel, I'm allowed to do all these things, which before I was never even aware of. 
So I hope this has helped in some way. Let me know if you've got any questions below. This has been Kev from LifeSuccessEngineer.com. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. If you want me to answer any more questions, please, by all means, comment below. Please hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, take care.